goal of the single European sky is to make air traffic in Europe more efficient, to increase capacity, enhance safety, and to diminish the environmental impact as well as costs. It is a crucial modernization initiative fully supported by the military. Military and civil aviation face similar challenges. In addition, military airspace users have very specific needs stemming directly from the different types of missions they can be assigned. In peacetime, the military operate daily routine training of air, sea and ground forces. The availability of sufficient airspace and opportunities for military training is fundamental to ensuring efficient military intervention. However, in crisis situations, the military must be able to deploy air assets nationally or collectively, including within the densest and most complex areas of Europe. To deliver their mission, they need the necessary freedom of movement in the European airspace. Furthermore, the military forces are not only airspace users, they also provide air navigation services, operate airports, and are involved in defining the regulatory framework. CESAR Single European Sky ATM Research was set up to modernize and harmonize air traffic management systems. The CESAR concept of operations was developed by both civil and military stakeholders. Therefore, the business and mission trajectory is at the heart of CESAR. In the development of new technology, regulations and standards, collaboration and synergies between civil and military is a must-do. Member States mandated the European Defence Agency to facilitate the coordination of military views and to support them in the single European sky and CESAR. By incorporating the military in the development of the future air traffic management systems from the outset, all stakeholders, civilian and military, will benefit from the single European sky initiative. The military in CESAR. Partnering for safe and efficient skies.